All right, here's a different camera view of the moat search, so we can take a look at what happened with this uh, forklift at the far end of the search area where all the odors blowing to. I want to take a real close look here as we're coming around. So we come around this forklift, and right as we get to that tire, here's her first head turn snaps back that way investigates it and comes back a little okay so that's a first clue and then she hits here and turns back so now she's given us here to here and she's kind of decided that's where she's catching the edge of something and she wants to work it back so some big clues there for what we'll see later on. Another big clue. Trying to go underneath the forklift. If there was something she could source uh, in within her reach, she would do it. Yet she wants to go under. So I knew that meant we should go around. And so from here, we get hung up. We get hung up working on that other side, so we're going to go fast motion here. And we're going to zip along. So we get hung up working a long time. Long time we find that other odor. And then we're going to zoom back over here. And we're going to make our way back. And now she's back here again. Working on this side of the forklift. And now we're really getting hung up here. So as she starts climbing deep into the forklift here, I've completely forgotten about her kind of ignoring this area the first time we came through. She used this edge, she used an edge over here, and she tried to push under the forklift. And for some reason, that left my brain by the time we got back here. So I'm willing to let her crawl up inside the lift part on the vehicle. Not once, but twice. And let her crawl up in there. And let her crawl up in there practically again. And then I take her away. Instead of getting around again to the other side to give her one more look, I just take her away. Okay, not a bad thing, but what happens so we hit that other odor there on the pole. We go around, we hit the table odor. Okay. Remember that. I come crawling underneath the table behind Muriel. We get caught underneath that pole odor. We work the, the metal here. We get a 30 second warning in there. And what do I do? Instead of giving her a chance to get back to that productive area, I start working this stuff again. Now I should know better because by this time she's not really finding anything. She's been deep in there, she's been high up, she's finding nothing by this time. She's working hard because I've restricted her to this. Okay. And then we're done. There was our time. So the biggest problem here with this particular hide was that I decided it was over here that we needed to keep working because that was where all the odor was blowing from that hide and probably from one or two of the other hides uh, and instead of keeping moving sticking to a time limit saying if she hasn't shown real behavior like she's sourcing something within 20 seconds or so we need to get to another area find another direction leave come back uh, you know, I'm the one who failed on this side for sure, which happens most of the time.